to all Canadians. And when the Prime Minister accepted the final report into missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls, Justin Trudeau held the culmination of hundreds of stories, detailing the suffering and resilience of their families. I thank them, all of them, for their courage. But the closing ceremonies didn't mark the end of the tragedy. Margaret Bird's mom, Happy Charles, disappeared during the inquiry. Bird didn't have a chance to testify. I try and live by the last word she told me, and that's I'll try every day. Those words sent Bird on a quest to find another way to honor her mother, a search that's led to a new project focused on the untold stories of the inquiry. For Bird, it's about her mom. She would um, she would always teach us to be kind and to forgive. We Dance for Life is an Indigenous-led campaign connecting approximately 180 family members with artists. These are flowers here. They will be creating pieces of art over the coming months to remember their loved ones and document their experiences with loss. It's also very important that uh, we do it during this time as well because, um, because people are isolated. We Dance for Life is one of more than 100 projects being launched through a $13 million commemoration fund from Ottawa, set up after the inquiry ended to support relatives of the missing and murdered. The families and survivors will continue to have a voice. If public health measures allow, the families will gather this summer in ceremony to finish their artwork. The pieces will then be toured across the country, raising awareness and immortalizing their loved ones. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Ottawa.